Good morning, everybody. This is Corey Reeves with Reeves Realty Group with my wife, Ashley Reeves, and Amanda Wilkie with Movement Mortgage. We're gathered here on this wonderful Monday to go over some new things about mortgages that most people don't understand or want more information on. So, Amanda, exactly what is an ARM and what does it do? So an ARM stands for an adjustable rate mortgage, which is very different than a fixed rate mortgage. Fixed rate mortgage is the rate is fixed for the entire uh, term of the loan. An adjustable rate mortgage is where the interest rate could be fixed for a certain period of time. And then after that period of time is up, it can actually adjust up or down depending on what the market conditions are at that time. So um, right now we are seeing a little bit uh, more arms uh, being done because we are in a you know, rising interest rate market. So typically you would look at doing an arm because you would get a lower interest rate than what you would see on a fixed rate mortgage. So that's why we have people you know, looking into that now. Um, obviously the, the interest rate, there would need to be quite a big uh, difference between a you know, fixed rate and an adjustable rate for it to make sense doing. Okay. Um, some of the, the pros of doing an, an adjustable rate mortgage is, of course, you'll get a lower interest rate initially, okay. um, hopefully lower than what you know the fixed rate uh, mortgages are going for at this time. What is the fixed rate right now on average? Uh, we're, they're in the sevens. Are they? Okay. Yeah. So this makes a lot of sense for somebody looking for a lower interest rate. Correct. Okay. Yeah. And of course, when you're comparing, you know, an adjustable rate versus a fixed rate, you want to see a pretty, you know, decent difference in the interest rate for it to make sense to do. Okay. Um, some of the, the pros of doing an adjustable rate mortgage is, of course, you're going to get that lower initial interest rate, which will you know, give you a lower interest that you're going to pay over the loan. Um, some of the cons are, of course, you know, you don't know what the rate will adjust to uh, when it comes time. Um, so just, you know, it, there's no way to tell what the market conditions will be at the time the rate adjusts. So that can make it, you know, a little, little difficult. Um, so if I get an arm, are the closing cost or the upfront cost, are they the same as a conventional? Pretty much, yes. Okay. Yep. And I will go over the, one of the most popular arm products is what's called a 5-1 arm. Mm -hmm. And how that works is the, the rate is fixed for the first five years. Uh, after that five year period is up, then that's when it can adjust. Okay. And it will, like I said, adjust up or down depending on the market conditions at that time. Um, and usually it will adjust one time per year. So you would be fixed for five years and then it will adjust, you know, one time a year after that. But a lot of people do an arm to, if they're either a short time, like if they're not going to be in their house for very long, mm -hmm. or you plan on refinancing, um, you know, before the, you know, the five-year term fixed period is up. So there's no penalty if I refinance on an arm? Absolutely not. No prepaid okay. penalty. You can refinance at any time. So I could keep the house for a couple of years or three years and get a, you know, a much better interest rate if it's in the sevens now and be in the fours. Or I'm assuming that's about, what, about four, four and a half is what an arm's going? I don't know if they're that low. Okay, so but, within reason, it's, yeah. it's going to be two or three points lower than the, the conventional, right? So I can, you know, keep it for three years, and before that starts being a problem or adjustable, I can go in and refinance at a lower rate, right? Absolutely. Okay. Yep, you can refinance at any time. Okay, that's great. Mm -hmm. um, what what other advantages are uh, an arm except for, you know, the, the interest rate? Are the, is it easier to get? Is the criteria the same or? It is a little different to qualify uh, for, you know, the arm, but for the most part, it's, it's not it's not terribly different than a fixed rate mortgage. Okay. Yeah. And what's the longest arm you can go out to? Uh, uh, usually we do a five year, seven year or a 10 year arm. Okay. So that would mean, you know, a 10 year would be fixed for 10 years. So that, would be a good, that would be a very good deal to do, right? So, yeah. so if you qualified for a 10 year, you're locked in at a low interest rate for 10 years, which gives you plenty enough time considering most people between seven and 10 years sell their home. Absolutely. So that would yep. get you in a great situation. And then when you sell or you can refinance, right? Yep. Absolutely. So well, that sounds fantastic. Um, what questions do you have, Ash? No, I mean, Amanda pretty much answered all the questions that we had about an arm and what the ideal buyer looks like and how it works. Um, I do know that some people have questions about, does my monthly payment change every month? Does it change every month? So for that fixed rate period, so for instance, on the 5-1 arm, it is, it's fixed for five years. Okay. So it will not change whatsoever. It's after that five-year period is up is when it can begin to change. 
but that's where it makes it hard to determine what the rate would be because it's all going to depend on what the market conditions are at that time. Mm -hmm. So that's why, I mean, it, the rate could literally go up or it could go down. Um, so it just really depends on the, you know, the market conditions at that time. I will tell you though, most ARM products do have a cap on them, which means that uh, there's a cap on how much the rate can adjust. So after that five year period is up, uh, most of them have like an initial cap to where it can't go up, you know, uh, above a certain level. And then it has uh, usually a lifetime cap, which means the rate couldn't go up, you know, by a certain amount over the entire life of the loan. So there are some caps in there to, you know, to protect the loan from, you know, taking on just a, a super high interest rate. Um, it will, you know, kind of, if, if the market is changing in that direction, it will go up uh, gradually, not right away. So if you're locked in, no, it's not going to change until you're after your locked in period, correct? It will not change. So on the 5-1 arm, it will stay the same at five years. Mm -hmm. It will not change. The payment won't, you know, won't change. Nothing will change until after that five year mark is up. So that one year after that, that's when you start getting, getting your adjustable and, and things start fluctuating, right? Yeah, yeah. And I mean, some people wait until they get into that period to see what, you know, what will happen to the rate because sometimes it can go down. Right. Um, but if or it, it could go up quite yes, a bit. Or it could go up. Okay. Um, so, but hopefully at that time, if it does go up, you would you know, most likely refinance into a fixed rate product at that time. Right. Um, okay. So, um, is there any like uh, PMIs or anything you have to carry with an arm or, or how does that work? The, the PMI would work the same as um, on any other loan. Uh, if you don't put down 20%, usually you do have to pay PMI. Okay. So it, that would depend on the down payment. So it's still, it's pretty, con it, it still follows the same guidelines as pretty much an FHA or a conventional loan. Pretty Sometimes. much, yes. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Is there a minimum down payment that you have to have? Nope, nope. Okay. Um, yeah, we just follow the normal, you know, down payment requirements. Uh, so, you know, 3% is the absolute minimum to get into a home. Um, if you're a first time home buyer and, uh, and then, you know, FHA, you can get in uh, with as little as three and a half percent down. Um, if you're not a first time home buyer, conventional loan will require a 5% down payment. Gotcha. And then what's the interest rates looking like for the ARM products right now? Um, they vary. They vary. It depends on a lot of things. Um, and that's why you will, when you're comparing a fixed rate to an adjustable rate, you, you usually want to see a pretty di big difference in the rate for it to make sense to do the sure. adjustable rate. Because if there's not a big difference, then most likely you just would do a fixed rate loan. Yeah, no, that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. Because, I mean, it, it, what it does is it lets somebody come in and get a house. Um, is there a cap on loan? Is there, like, how much you can borrow? No. Okay. No. So if you want to, 500000 or a million dollars, you can still do an arm, right? Yep. Okay, cool. Um, now I think we've just about covered everything, huh? Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, guys, I appreciate y'all staying tuned. This is uh, Motivational Monday with Amanda Wilkie, Reeves Realty Group, trying to bring you some tidbits on the market and the ever-changing lending processes. So we are here to educate. We are here to walk you through the steps and let us know what we can do for you. Y'all have a wonderful day.